Hi everyone, it's Tiffany. Welcome back to my channel. It's been a while, so hello again. Today I'd like to share with you a few of the baby items that I regret buying. As a new mom, you know, I got suckered into buying a million things, and as we live in a world of consumerism, I thought I needed all these things. So here are a few of the baby items that I regret buying. I bought the Jutelier Moderno Etna Glider for a hefty price of $1,800. Everyone talks about how they had to rock their baby to sleep or rocking is the only way to calm a baby down. So while I was looking online for rocking chairs, I found a lot of them to be really bulky and old fashioned, which really isn't my style. So I Googled modern rocking chairs and came across the Moderno Etna Glider. I really like how sleek and modern it is with simple clean lines. My baby was super chill. She didn't need much coddling, so I did not need to rock her to sleep. So I used this glider as a pumping chair for the first six months and now I just use it to place her laundry on it after it's done. So now I need to have multiple kids to justify buying it. The next item that I used for all of five minutes was this new bassinet. I bought this on Black Friday, so luckily did not pay the full price of $12.95. My daughter is what I like to call a free range baby. She doesn't like to be confined or caged up, so she didn't like this at all, which is too bad because I really like the style and the design of this bassinet and it matched the rest of the furniture in her nursery. We ended up using a baby lounger for the first month and then when she grew out of that, she slept in a dock -a tot instead. But luckily I was able to sell this bassinet within three days on Facebook Marketplace. So the baby shusher is an item that I requested on my registry. It's exactly what it is, a machine that just shushes. The sound is supposed to mirror what it's like in the womb. I like that it was small, portable, and battery powered. But to my surprise, my baby was so chill I never had to use it. Now it just collects dust on a bookshelf. So occasionally, my daughter will play with it. She likes to increase and decrease the volume. She thinks it's funny how loud and obnoxious it is. This temporal scanner I found really hard to use, especially since I have a really squirmy kid. It sounds simple because all you do is just swipe their forehead, but I don't think I ever got an accurate rating because we could never do a good swipe. She was always so active and moving so much. So first we would try with the scanner, but we would also check her temperature with the rectal thermometer. I prefer the rectal thermometer because I know for sure that I'm using it properly. We still have the temporal scanner, but it's just used as a toy now to keep her distracted while I change her diaper. So these noise canceling baby headphones I bought in preparation for her first cross country flight. She didn't like that they were pressing against her ears and that there was something on top of her head. She also has a very small head so they just didn't fit right. So on the plane she didn't wear them at all, only for a few seconds so we could snap a photo. So I ended up just nursing her during takeoff and landing. I think we're going to give these another try when we go on our next flight. These baby leggings I had a coupon for so all I had to pay was for shipping but the normal price is $60 a set. I never used these because my daughter's legs were never chubby enough and by the time they got chubby, it was too cold to wear them as part of her thighs would be exposed. So I bought these because I thought they were super cute and I also had a great deal. So they're still sitting in my dresser, but hopefully I can use them for my next kid. So all in all, I really like these baby items, but they just didn't work out for my daughter. Um, you know, I learned to keep things simple and I don't need fancy items with apps or Wi-Fi. So anyway, I hope you found this video helpful. Please subscribe for more. Thank you.